morning, respected judges, teachers, and all my dear friends. If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. This quote was by a scientist, engineer, innovator, visionary, dreamer, teacher, the people's president, the missile man of India, and of course, the person with the wings of fire. Yes, it was Dr. Awal Pakir Jainul Abdeen Abdul Kalam, the 11th president of India. He was a man with a number of titles in various fields, who received honorary doctorates from as many as 30 universities. The government of India also honored him with the nation's highest civilian honors, namely the Padma Bhushan, the Padma Vibhushan, and the Bharat Ratta. Kalam has written several inspirational books, most notably his autobiography, Wings of Fire, aimed at motivating Indian youth. His probable views on certain issues have been espoused by him in his book, India 2020, in which he strongly advocates an action plan to develop India into a knowledge superpower and into a developed nation by the year 2020. This was his biggest dream. Here are some valuable life lessons which children can learn from him. These will surely help us to excel in life. Always be ready for changes, for life is unpredictable. It does not always follow the path we wish. So make sure you have a plan B when things do not go the way you thought they would. Be creative. Creativity in children leads to a culture of excellence. Creativity, innovation and imagination of the children can completely change the future of the country in the right direction. Always be humble. We all know how successful Dr. Kalam was. But have you ever noticed him being arrogant or proud? No, he was always humble towards the people and that made him a great leader. As children, it is very important for us to be humble. That helps us to be in a good relationship with others and creates a good image about us in their minds. Establish a connection with people. In the quest of being successful, youth often distance people and start embracing numbers. Researchers have proved that people who are more connected with the masses live a happier and more enjoyable life than the people who live a life of solitary. Establish in a, emerge as a good leader. In the quest, Kalam, Dr. Kalam emerged as a good leader. The way Dr. Kalam always carried himself taught us, no matter how successful we are, we should always be ready to interact and connect with the people and emerge as a good leader. Have a vision. Human spirit collapses, not when it is deprived of food, but when it is denied a dream. His advice to the young people of the nation is to dream, dream and dream. Dreams transform into thoughts. Thoughts result in action. It means that if you have a dream, thoughts will come. And if thoughts are there, you will do the action. So you must start a goal. Have a vision in life. Life is meaningless without having a goal or a vision. The most basic thing we can do for our country is to let our minds think. But our thoughts must be prosperous. Then only our nation will become strong. Human resource is the most important resource a nation could have. But it is of no use if it becomes a liability of the nation. The developed India needs the strength of its healthy, educated and prosperous people. So please come together, try to expand technologies, make your minds full of useful thoughts. Especially youths and teenagers, please come forward in the fields of science and technology. Think big. We are a nation of a billion people. And we must think like a nation of a billion people. Only then we will become big. When ISRO was preparing for its maiden mission into deep space, 
with the 2008 moon mission aboard the Chandrayaan 1. It was Dr. Kalam who dreamt and insisted that ISRO land a probe on the surface of the moon rather than just orbiting it. We all know the moon impact probe became a reality. A dream converted into action. Dr. Kalam made it possible. Today, India is among the exclusive nations to have achieved this magnificent technological feat. Remember, dream is not that which you see while sleeping, but it is something that does not let you sleep. Dr. Kalam believed that every person who has been educated has a responsibility towards his nation. Every individual should be a good member of a family. Every individual should be a good member of the society. Every individual has to be a good member of the nation. And every educated individual has to be a good member of the planet Earth. But the question is, how do we transform the individual into the good member? Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony at home. When there is harmony at home, there is order in the nation. And when there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. But who will give us that righteousness in the heart? Our fathers, our mothers and our teachers in a spiritual environment. On 27th July this year, the people's president traveled to Shillong to deliver a lecture on creating a livable planet Earth at the Indian Institute of Management, Shillong. At around 6.35 p.m., only five minutes into his lecture, he collapsed. His last words to his aide, Srijan Pal Singh, were reportedly, Funny guy, are you doing well? Dr. Kalam is no more. Not only India, but the whole world has lost the brightest one of its most precious Ratnas. But remember, it's not the end. His soul wants us to come together to visualize his visions, his dreams. His thoughts, his visions are still with us and we must keep them alive. In conclusion, we all must work together to visualize his dreams, his visions. And we all must work together to transform our developing India into developed India. And this revolution must start in our minds. Thank you all for your patient listening.